after a close 17-10 win over Florida Atlantic. Ohio returns to Peden Stadium as they await their Big 12 opponent in Iowa State. Hello, everyone. I'm Peyton Brooker and alongside Josh Warner. And Josh, Ohio had an explosive defense against the Owls as only allowed them to three points at last week in Broker Atone. Yeah, Peyton, we saw this Bobcat defense on full display last week, especially in the run game. The Bobcats allowed only five rushing yards to a Florida Atlantic team that gained 213 yards the week before against Monmouth. Linebacker Keith Thompson led the way with seven tackles, including one and a half tackles for loss. The Bobcats also limited the Owls in the passing game, allowing only 180 yards in the air. Cornerback Tank Pearson and safety Austin Bradley led the way for the Bobcats, coming down with an interception each. And Josh, last week, Curtis Work returned from injury after an early exit against San Diego State. And this week, there's chances of him stepping up against this Power 5 conference team. Last week, Roark threw for over 200 yards and a touchdown. His favorite target was tight end Mason Williams, who led the Bobcats with 46 receiving yards. This will also be the second week in a row he will have his top two targets back from last season in Sam Wigless and Jacoby Jones. Now for the Cyclones, they're looking to find revenge after their loss to the Iowa Hawkeyes, but they seem to have some firepower as they turn their quarterback, Rocco Beck. This is a completely different offense than the Bobcats faced in their 43-10 defeat last year. Retro freshman Rocco Beck will be making his third collegiate start against the Bobcats. Beck saw very limited action last year against the Bobcats as the third option for the Cyclones. Last week, Beck threw for 203 yards with a touchdown and an interception in the loss against the Hawkeyes. His favorite targets last week were wideouts Jaden Higgins and Jalen Noel. Defensively, the Cyclones have only allowed 29 points on the season thus far. Defensive back Jeremiah Cooper has the tie for the NCAA lead in interceptions with three. And Caleb Bacon leads Iowa State with two sacks. It should be a packed house in Peyton Stadium as Ohio goes into her last non-conference matchup before Mac play begins next week. For in-game coverage and post-game content, be sure to check out WAB Bobcat Showcase on WAB.org. For Josh Horner, I'm Peyton Brooker.